fact that CKTD is on that Welcome to Mobile Legends. Na. Masyado masakit. Masyado masakit tong Archangel na to. Five Acer though, masakit din naman sila because they have Liam Moore to uh, go for the cleanups. Kenji on that carry as well. Nung MPL, medyo masakit-sakit. Mabdi, mabdi. So let's go with the team rundown for Archangel Oledge. We have CKTD on this Kimi Bao for this Akai. Bimo on this Kufra, Lembot for this Thumbs, and Exhort plus Japanese characters on this Esmeralda. 666 on that Lunox, Luwe on that Kaja, Kenji on that Carry Tang, on that Leomorn, and Geo on that Gacha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, walang ano, walang amazing na mangyayari for now, except yung idea na si Tang dinitiin dito na si KTD. That's pretty much yung advantage ni Lunox pag early game, pero nag-sprint si Bimo, nag-bouncing ball, oh, and then live and lang dalawang to, first blood, going over to Archangel Orange pero medyo nag-overextend si Kufra doon hindi medyo nag-overextend talaga si uh, Bimo doon shouldn't have went for it they shouldn't have uh, over committed there mm -hmm. that's true pero kaya uh, it was a good risk uh, it just so happened na hindi nakamamba out si Bimo doon may nagpapasigaw ano yan sino sino nasan pa shout out kami dito uh, pa shout out kami dito sa Abu Dhabi pasigaw po J. John Tirol at RB pasigaw po huwag tayo sabigaw sabi ni uh, Madam <laughs> gusto gusto sa mga ni Nomad pero feeling ko hindi niya na kayo makikita next month okay lang naman sa mga bashers namin pero kailangan na kayo magcast eh uy shout outs po kay Micaela Principe uh, thank you so much for watching love you <laughs> nagay love you really love you po eh tropa ko yan tropa ko yan shout outs po shout out po ati Yuko shout outs kay John Rodney Sal Oh. You will be taken out by Bimo. Wait, wait, he's a Leomord. So that kind of spells bad. Kung Turtle two minutes in, may two deaths na siya. Yes, he has one kill, but that was because sa turret na oh, silent, immobilized na here. lang sinalo. This is a dead Lunox courtesy of Exhort. But walang mga emblem. Meron silang mga emblem, Para sir. Parang may mga emblem sila, sir. Ayun, no? Kitang <laughs> kita na may emblem sa mga gate, sir. Yeah, okay, so AAO actually eyeing this turtle. So, early game, medyo mas may control, mas may pressure na yung Archangel Orange. Yeah. You can see it. Ops, pero oh, na stolen ng either Exhort, the only one left there. Nako pa, 3v1, make that 4. V1, kaya ba mag-mamba out? Exhort, shield line lang, shield pare. Tingnan mo ako, makakalis ka. Pero sa dami pa naman ng humakakbo sa'yo, kaya ba mabuhay ito? Apparently, that is a no. He gets taken down. That's another kill going over to the side of either. Medyo mahirap, mahirap tong laban na to. Um, it's an even uh, fight here in terms of securing the kills. Pero while that's happening though, Azer is gonna try to retaliate by taking another, uh, taking a turn here para may even out lang yung uh, push sa atin dito. Smart call from them. Mas mm -hmm. uh, may discipline na yung both teams ngayon, pansin ko. They're all about objectives, threats, yung kills kung ma masalo. Pao, medyo binulabog si 666 dito. Are uh, stopping the recall, but after that, nagmambout na din siya. Sabi, John Bello, kuya, sigaw, hindi nga kami pwedeng sumigaw. <laughs> Dahil na windang na po yung organizer namin. <laughs> Abot ka bilang building daw yung sigaw namin. Huwag mo kasar yung bagong to. Ano ay yung chat na to? Wait, ah, tasta na divine judgment si CKTD pero nakamambout siya. They are still under threat pero immobilized ngayon. Si 666 naipit siya. He is actually, wait, si CKTD actually goes down pero naka-escape pa ata. Yung isa, yes, naka-escape pa siya doon. Pero Bimo says hello kay Lue. Double kill going over to this guy. Hinahabas siya ngayon ng dalawa. Pero si Exhort nag-ipag 1v1 dito kay Gio pero nag nag hello lang pala muna sila. Hi, hello lang. Tamang uh, 1v1 with the great one, ika nga. No divine judgments available. Ether is going to try to go initiate here, but Archangel Olish is just going to try to go for the count initiate here. Bimo is going to drop dangerously low. Boom. Kufra is to go down as well. Strongly well as X. Medyo maganda, medyo maganda. Pero nakamang bout na my favor of Ather. Ting nasa screen na naman yung ano secret member daw ng Archangel. Na, sa ayun. sobrang secret, hindi siya pinapalabas, hindi siya pinarchangel. Sa sobrang, ipakira si Bertha Archangel siya. Pero... <laughs> 
Jong Lambert. After mo sabihin na ganito, pa yan, to pa yan. Uh, okay, either eyeing this turtle power actually drops 8,000 pounders in, but turtle has been secured by Lunox. Yeah, this is slowly starting to be problem for Rocky Jolnich because the more Golden EXP is going to go to their side and the more Golden EXP that they have, the more items they have. Which would translate to them being able to win Clyde. Clashes. Clyde's. Clyde's. Clashes. Uh, fleeting time already up for this Kaja. So again, tama rotations. Chill, chill muna sila. Divine Judgment is up, but I don't think... Kinumit nga bigla! Mm. Dito kay Akai, pero nakamamba out. Phantom Seed has been popped yet again. Sige, TV here at the front. I feeling ko, hindi maganda yan. Kaya si Bimon nasa likod lang eh, oh. Oh, tamang nasa likod lang. Tamang, uh, tamang bayan nasa likod. Ah... Uh... I don't know, our Angel Owens needs to uh, start to force a fight here. I feel like that should be the case. Try nila mag-secure ng... Uh, I-secure nila yung kill against Kenji, against Teng. Kailangan nila mataan si uh, Kenji specifically. 1.2k views pala tayo ngayon. Pre, pre, viewers, I mean. Yan, iba talaga. Shout out. Pag Arc Angel Owens, tsaka Aether yung naglalaban. Siyempre yung mga fans nila, yung mga supporters nila, nanonood ngayon. Uh, tamang uh, tamang uh, shout out na sa inyo. Like and share the stream para mas marami tayo yung manonood dito. Siyempre nanonood kayo ng Mobile Esports Arena for the month of June. Pero huwag na sabi na ipinapanood natin natin si Bimo hinahabol. Si Kenji, pero si Kenji mga takas dito. Makakamagay ko sa itong bagsak ni Gio. Di na mga kaibigan. Hindi ko na buhay na nalaman ko 1.2 kayo. Oh, ay, di ba, di ba? Ako pa, ay, di ba? Diyan, sa pagmumukha ni Esmeralda, she's being boxed and double kill going over to this carry. Medyo umiinit na yung laban. Medyo ML na ML na uli. Ang either natin. Kasar na kasar na ulit kami dito. Kami dalawa ni Yuko dito. Pagkala kami, hindi na ako siya kapkas. Pero ito na mga kaibigan. Either, si Isikyo na tulad. Aray yun, hurricane. Sobrang hyper na yan. Hurricane dance, pero nasa harap pa siya ni CKT din nun. So, yep. That's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Um, let's see, Archangel Onish is not in a good spot here. Uh, mas lamang na sa push yung Archangel Onish and they're being sieged all across the map here. Mm -hmm. Yun yung problem. Top lane is gonna go down shortly thereafter. Pwede nila napuntaan yung mid lane. Pero may presence yung Archangel Onish dito and they're gonna be trying whatever they can to defend this. But the turtle is gonna be the viable uh, objective yes. here. Um, Onish is a bit far so I guess kaya yung secure ng Aether to without any contention. And yes, na secure na nga. Turtle buff going over to Lunok. So, ayun na. Nakuha nila yung buffs. Okay na sila sa minion waves. They are now going to the mid lane. May... Ultimate. Oh, wait! Nahila! Oh, na naman si Pao. Pero napakagalas ko pa yung nasing! Oh, Brad, this is Gio. Pero Bimo sinasno lahat. Mega kill going over this carry. And wait. Okay na yon, May two kills na. Huwag muna tayong umasing. Pero ang ganda ng pasok ng ganda't katsa doon, Pre. Napakaganda ng pasok. We can't explain it anymore. Nakita kita na naman natin nangyari. Kinukuha na lang si Akai sa si uh, Kufra. Hindi nila yung expect na papasok si Gatot Katsa. Si Gatot Katsa. Gatot Katsa. Si Gatot. Di ba sabi ni ating, announce, ating announcer ng, ano, ng ML, Get it catch, ha? Di ba gano'n? Get it, get it catch. Get it catch, ha? Pero walang divine judgment, walang ultimate, walang phantom steed. Wait, nagka-phantom steed na pala. So that could be something Archangel Onich want, would want to bank on. They are come together. Mukhang mas nakakagalaw, mas nakaka-rotate yung either ngayon. But let's see kung mako-close out nila yung game na to. I don't know, it, if anything, pwede gawin ng Archangel Onish ulit yung uh, nangyari sa kanila kanina na hinold nila yung base as much as they can and then went for the comeback. CKDD needs to go online here. Uh, Blades of Spare being picked up my transition into uh, Berserker's Blades. Mm -hmm. Two Berserker's Blades if they, he wants to, but that's gonna be he overcommitting it. Plus, hindi, siya, mag, hindi maganda yung start niya. Yes, that is true. So, okay. Medyo chill-chill muna uli ngayon, Teng. Just here at the bot lane, linis-linis lang ng minion wave. Pero alam mo, after ng magandang superhero landing, hindi ka rin katsa, parang excited na ako kung mauulit ba eh. Mm. Ganda ng timing niya eh. Dalawa, tatlong tayo na huli. Wait. Wait. Hello, Divine Judgment! Na-stun! Mm. Sinado na lahat. Of course, binabato ni Kari. Lahat ng tayo pa siya kaya niyang oh, iba to. Pero Bimo jumps in. Medyo mali decision ata yun. Hinahabol tuloy siya. But he was able to get away by just the skin of his teeth. Hindi pa masyadong masakit yung uh, damage ni Kimi dito eh. Mm -hmm. Which is a problem talaga. Kimi needs to be Which on... Which is the problem uh, talaga? Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Ay, oh, no. Hindi <laughs> okay lang yan. Oh, no, call nyo. <laughs> oh, no. Pero, oh, anyway, yun yeah. oh. Kasi si Kimi, usually 9 minutes, 10 minutes in, magiging problema na talaga siya. Pero we're not feeling Kimi's presence here. Uh, while that's yes, happening, 
Kakapig up on the Esmeralda, like the Tronche, pero wala rin siya masyadong magagawa doon. Sige DD, gonna try to dwindle down the HP there. Yu Wei is gonna be the primary target here. But Sige DD is dropping dangerously low on HP. He's being chased down by Geo, and there's nothing that he can do there. He's gonna be the only one alive here. And it's with a Lord marching sa mid lane, what will CK TV do? I mean, yung death timers ni Akai tsaka ni Kufra hindi ganun kataas and Esmeralda. But will they be able to defend this turret? Kasi at this point, last row of turrets, yun yung pinakamahalaga. Will they be able to defend this? Mukhang hindi and they are marching down the throat so with this Lord. Will this be an AA win? Ito na one good clash phantom scene has been popped. Ako down. Nice, Ricky Dance. Nabigla ang Lord, but wait. Kimeke has gone over. Oh, Esmeralda. Lunok na ko po. Healing speed naman. For this, yung more time. Maganda yung defensive effort na ginawa ni Akai doon na nag-hurricane din siya para mawala yung minions doon sa range ng uh, base. Napakalaking bagay doon para hindi masyado malaking damage. Time for Archangel only just to uh, come back. Pwede gawin yun. Pero Lembot is gonna go down once again. So it's gonna be CKDD on his own. Akai is gonna be up and running again. Does, will not have Hurricane Dance up and ready. Pero CKDD is gonna be bursted to oblivion there. And it's just gonna be Val on his own. Gonna try to defend this as much as he can. He does have the Hurricane Dance. And he needs to commit the Hurricane Dance here to just yeah. prevent yeah. the minions from pushing in. But Pau is gonna go down once again. Second wave, Bimo and Exhort is going to be here, Esmeralda and Kufra. They're going to have to defend this until the 20 minute mark if they want to fight back. That is true. Mukha hinahabol ni Lunox ay Esmeralda to. Bimo actually jumps in. Knock up, Phantom Seed has been popped yet again. Pero ako ang magandang positioning ng AE. Dito, Bimo getting so much damage but they are able to zone out the two or three members from either. They need to keep defending this Archangel Onish. This is the same thing that happened during game number two, which is not impossible to happen. Pwede ulit mangyari na yung Archangel Onish, i-defend nila yung push ng Aether. Pero kaya nila maging... Uh, kailangan, extra ingat. Extra ingat talaga. Huwag sila magbigay ng early pickoffs. Kung papasok si Kaja, lumayo nila kayo. Parang yan, wala ka agad. Si CKDD, ang primary damage dealer nila. Nako po, ang marksman ng Archangel Onish is already down. Tapos, he will be up in 27 seconds. Now, what will A... AAO, do. Yes, Kenji. Hello, pumasok ng base. Tamang, ta tamang tapon-tapon ng muna ng damage. Okay. Ang half day thumbs yun, pare. Dahil sa 12 minute thumbs. Pero rinarat-rat lang ni Kari. So, mabilis ang item check nga dyan, Derek. Let's go, Derek. Thank you, thank you. Golden Staff, Demon Hunter Sword. Tapos may endless battle pa. Magta-transition over to... Pwedeng mag-gan eh. Anta. Ah, oh, nalimutan ko na kagad. Ang cute ng Atena items shield. ni Ano niya, kahit saka ni Kufra. Aww. Aww, pair sila. Looks Aww. so sweet. Ano, hashtag tank, tank goals. Aww, uh, uh, pair sila. Buti pa siya nung make-up pair. Oo. Yung pumalok si Luma din ni Vine Judgment. That is pretty much a dead Kufra. Aether, let the bodies hit the floor na naman. Ang fact ako po, napakasakit ni Kenji. Superhero landing kay Gio. Pero oh, wala siya nakuha. Aether, you guys could probably go with the throw na siya. Pero kahit ni Teng, team na target. You're gonna defend you. And it's not gonna happen. Aether will be your June champions for the Mobile Esports Arena. Mobile Legends.